Now question number five. We have m squared times n to the power of four all squared. So what we can do is actually apply the squared to both exponents. And when we do that, we multiply them. So we have m two times two is four, and four times two is eight. So same thing down below. We have m to the power of four. We multiply that by negative one. Four times negative one, negative four. And n to the power of negative two, negative two to the power of negative one. We just multiply them. Negative two times negative one, positive two. Negative, negative, make a positive. Great. Now, what can we do? M, we have the same base, and we're dividing them so we can subtract the exponents. So we have m to the power of 4 minus negative 4 times n to the power of 8 minus 2. Same thing. We subtract the exponents. So over here, 4 minus negative 4 is 8. Because subtracting a negative number is equivalent to adding. And we're still multiplying n to the power of 8 by n to the power of 8 minus 2, which is 6. So that's it. OK, now question 6. Let me change the color so that nobody gets confused. So now I'm going to apply the negative 1 to every element within the parentheses. So we have 3 to the power of negative 1, x to the power of negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, because negative negative makes a positive. y to the power of 7 to the power of negative 1 is y to the power of negative 7. 7 times negative 1, negative 7. Then z squared to the power of negative 1 is just z to, z to the power of negative 2. Because 2 times negative 1, negative 2. All over x to the power of 8, y squared, z. Now, 3 to the negative 1, I can actually bring it down and make the exponent positive. So I have 3 to the power of positive 1, and the 3 is no longer there. OK, now I will just combine the variables. x squared over x to the 8 is equivalent to x squared minus 8. y to the power of negative 7 over y squared is equivalent to y to the power of negative 7 minus 2. And finally, the z, I have a z to the power of negative 2. We can subtract the 1 right here. There was a hidden 1 right there. All over 3. 3 to the power of 1 is just 3. OK. Now, x to the power of 2 minus 8 is negative 6. So x to the power of negative 6. Negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9. And negative 2 minus 1, negative 3. All over 3. So of course, we want to make the exponents positive. So I can bring down all these elements. Thereby, making the exponents positive. And we're just left with a 1 over in the numerator. So we have 1 over 3 times x to the power of 6 y to the 9, z cubed. And that is the final answer. That's it.